a lot of sword fighting. Yes, in this game that we're gonna have coming yeah, up. We've, 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 I mean, we've already heard quite a lot of sword noises this already today. This we had multiple true. Hattori's last game. We probably had multiple Hattori's pretty much every game. Sometimes on the same team, sometimes on opposite teams. Very popular in two v twos. I'm, I'm excited. Not excited. But I'm wondering if we'll see more high movement speed legends picked up when people get more used to other moves. I, I mean, Wilson bringing out the Artemis like he did earlier on. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll bring that out in this game to kind of emulate a Hattori pick. Uh, but we're into small enigma. Or regular enigma. Is it just small enigma? I think it's just regular enigma. Like it's, it seems about the size of that. The sub platforms aren't bigger. I wonder if the kill boxes are bigger at all. I was wondering that earlier I'm, when I'm we saw I'm actually it. wondering if it's the same stage. I feel like I should know this. Anyways. Blood Diamond looking for that neutral light. Does not find it. And Santi doing a great job being able to hold Wilson off the side of the stage. Good little side light there. He's going for down lights just to keep Wilson from being able to save his teammate. But Blood Diamond seems to be doing great in his matchup against McSlammy as he takes him off the top of the map with that recovery. Excellent guitar play coming out from our veteran player. And a nice falling stare from Santa keeps Blood Diamond away from McSlammy so that he can recover and get the spear. But Wilson and Blood Diamond are doing excellently in their respective matchups. Good little nair. And oh, I love that side stick and a neutral light. McSlammy trying to get in a little bit too preemptively interrupts what Santi had prepared for him, and the recovery is not going to kill Blood Diamond off the top of the map. Wasn't Wilson supposed to quit this game? <laughs> didn't, didn't, wasn't he quitting? I mean, I'm glad he didn't. But wasn't he... It was, I mean, it was him and Doppy. Yeah, everybody, and, uh, quit. everybody quit for three months. It was, called the, it was called the winter break. That's true. Every, we're everybody the winter, quits we're in the, the off-season. Yeah, we're in the winter championship now. <laughs> Everybody's done quitting. And he's shown that he hasn't quit, because he's definitely played enough to be able to make it this time. Make it this far, rather. Blood Diamond finally loses that first stock, but Santa Bro, yeah, such he a great job. Died. That's insane. Do you like recovery? Oh, he goes for the gravity cancel side stick. That's so cool. He hit with that a little bit earlier. And what's interesting is that you can't fully charge a signature through a gravity cancel, but you can partially charge it. Yes. And some moves, like a Suri side stick, can go a certain distance, mm -hmm. as if you're on the ground. If you use a side stick from a platform, you'll descend, but in the air, you go straight forward. A very good move for being able to get those chaos. And he accidentally neutral sigs McSlammy. And McSlammy was doing such a good job of surviving after losing his first stock very early. Yes. So that's uh, it's a little bit unfortunate for how survivable Santi was and then how survivable McSlammy was after that first stock. Makes it's a up shame for it to see him pound. lose that that early. But yeah, the stocks are evened up and actually the damage lead is is in the blue team's favor, even though you see Blood Diamond and Wilson physically on top in the top right. Yeah, Santi now, he's doing such an excellent job of being able to stock take, and Blood Diamond actually gets disarmed with that little blowback. Nice side light after the cider to put tag on just any kind of damage matters here onto Wilson. Side stick definitely doesn't connect. Blood Diamond looking for the neutral stick himself. Ooh, and the down stick from Wilson catching Santi as he tries to land, and Blood Diamond killed off own. the top. Oh, nice recovery coming in from Santi, oh! but the return recovery from Wilson reaching too far with the second one. Very greedy, and Wilson making him pay for yeah, it. Yeah, fantastic counter punish there coming out. Basically dead even game so far. Wilson taking just a little bit of damage here, to getting him closer and closer. He has to be a little bit careful. He isn't the, the most fragile or the most tanky legend on this Brin pick here, but he gets the double D-Light into the side air. It was so far to the right. It was off stage when the D-Lights started that he was able to take that stock just oh, no. like that. And Santi was doing such a great job of being able to hold on to his stock in the 2v2, but now that he's in the 1v2, this is kind of an area where he's been untested in our eyes, and it's looking like Blood Diamond and Wilson are doing a very good job of being able to give him damage without taking it in themselves. Now, if he could find the K onto Wilson, that'd be great, but Wilson playing grounded is allowing Blood Diamond to do a lot of the aggressing. Now, Santi finding these recoveries, ooh, that side light into recovery, but Blood Diamond wasn't really ready to follow up after the side light. I would have preferred if he did side light in air and Blood Diamond went for a finisher, because Santi gets the recovery of the guitars. This is way different of a game now. It was looking solidly in their favor, but as he gets those downlights, Blood Diamond wasn't actually getting a lot of hits. Oh, he recovers into the sword as it's flying towards his face. If he had just waited, he had an opportunity to recover, mm -hmm. but excellent follow-up. Nonetheless, we talk about that a lot when you hit with a cider. You usually toss off your weapon to yeah. either... It's really the test to see if your opponent is being lazy. Mm -hmm. Because there is time to react to that. There's times to dodge that. But he chose to use the recovery first, and that resulted into his death. It's not even just to see if you're lazy, though. It's oftentimes, if your opponent doesn't have a dodge, it's to, it's to secure the kill safely. Point. Or Actually, it's did, to get your he, opponent's did dodge. Did he dodge first? Let me see. He goes in. No, he no. did not dodge first. He just, he just went straight So he recovery, definitely like could have dodged first and then go for the recovery. But that's why you throw out the weapon, because it's at yeah. no cost to you. You're going to deny weapons anyways. And if it works, then boom, you get a win. 
Something I do want to point out, though, that you mentioned is Wilson was playing grounded and Blood Diamond was the aggressor in this yes. situation. And that was because Wilson was the much more damaged player. Ooh. You did see him die first in the we end. Double but assert. that allowed Blood Diamond to go after the aerial opponent. And then the second the opponent wanted to touch down, Wilson was right there ready. He has switched uh, since switched onto this Ragnar pick here. And now More he has a double of a comfort assert pick too. for him for sure. But switching on win, we talked about that some players do that earlier. Mm -hmm. And this is a case of switching character on win. Well, I don't think Wilson found a lot of success with the spear. And uh, he's definitely... I would actually kind of disagree with you on that a little bit. Because we did see him get the double D-Light KO, uh, double D-Light okay. Cider okay. KO, okay. and it's um, he was throwing out a lot of down signatures so, as well, hitting multiple opponents. So the but Ragnar this is, switch definitely could just be like a mix-up to be like, hey, it could be a mix -up, now that you or it could just be Bren. a comfort pick. It could be like, you know what, sure. I don't want to play this Brennan anymore, I'm going to play this character. Deal of recovery coming from Blood Diamond, doesn't kill at the top. Good little neutral light, Santi. And McSlammy, similarly to the last game, finding himself losing the stock versus that was kind of cool. There was a black hole yeah. happening between teams. Or team combo, rather. Well, a little clash of the recovery there from the dive kick coming up from Blood Diamonds. Just to be careful about that with the guitars. Guitar, ever since clashing as a mechanic was added in, there are some places where using a guitar recovery isn't always the safest option, especially mm -hmm. offstage. We've seen some early KOs as a result of that. I remember yesterday in the EU1v1, for example. But uh, yeah, nice the, little neutral the benefit light. of that isn't the hitbox; it's more the angle that you come in yes. at. So if if you happen to contest it at the right angle, you can win a lot of the time. But if you happen to contest at the wrong angle, then it's Ooh. not the hardest to get priority over. Blood Diamond really was going to go for the KO onto McSlammy, but McSlammy was able to find the recovery oh, instead. Oh, McSlammy! Wow, Blood Diamond was deep red. And again, we're seeing Santi spend a lot of time on this first stock. He is definitely spending quite a bit of time. And in the meantime, Wilson is on his final stock. It's been two minutes. Santi hasn't died. Wilson's died twice. Ooh, ground pound comes out. Blood Diamond immediately ready to knock that out. That was so risky. And maybe he needed to go for that risk. Maybe he could have gone for that risk because of the stock lead. Stocks are even up now, however, because of that double KO. And Wilson and Blood Diamond are looking to continue to take this lead back. But McSlammy doing so great with the guitars in that matchup against Wilson's Ragnar. Avoiding that neutral stick, swatting him into Sa Santi's neutral light. Good little falling stare. Neutral stick comes up. GC Insight coming out from Santi on the edge. Looking to kill Wilson in orange with that very high force neutral signature. Down light from Wilson. And the side... Or actually, what's the... I was actually looking at McSlammy and Blood Diamond edge guarding over on the right. Yeah, someone's get confused with this. And I, I, I don't know I think, which I think, one based on just audio. Game. I think the clause is like the down is the one where you basically stay in place, and the side can kind of go forward like we just saw yeah. there with Blood Diamond. That's right. Nice oh, down wow. coming out from McSlammy. So many Asuri signatures coming out. A lot of active frames on that one. So if your opponent might be behind you or in front of you and you're not quite sure, it does cover both sides. Has a ton of active frames, so you can wait out and uh, spot dodge with it as well. Great follow up though coming out from Wilson. Are and they going to pick up is on the door. double kill hill here to get the one v two or the two v one situation, depending on whose point of view? Wilson also in kill percent at this point, Ooh. but he is the aggressor right now. Oh, and the down stick hits him out of the recovery. He doesn't touch the stage. Can he make it back? He does. He dodges. But the dive kick sends him off, and they're just willing to wait here because Santi has taken so much damage. Nair comes out. Oof, doesn't quite connect with the neutral stick. But the second neutral stick does hit. Is that going to be it? It <laughs> definitely is. He falls to his death, and they jump back to the stage in unison, celebrating their victory with a 2-0 over Santi McSlammy. It's too bad. Looks like my 9 o'clock morning show is done. What? You, know, you ever watch cartoons? Oh, yeah. oh okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. I, I heard morning show and then thought of like a radio show, oh, yeah. like they were uh, doing a jock yeah, jams. That's, that's a good point. With uh, with one of those goofy soundboards that has like oh. the boing and. Uh, you know, Santi McSlammy could work for that too. Yeah. Yeah, like as a radio show. Yeah. It's ninety-seven nine in the mornings with Santi and McSlammy. Ooh.